What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Gold Mouth. I am coming to you guys today to show y'all how I, I'm going to dust my little ends of my hair, okay? Um, first and foremost, let me introduce you to a bonnet. I don't got this bonnet no more, but there's several more left on my site that are large size. And you can go check out my site at goldencreation.web.com and all that good stuff. And I'm going to leave the link in the comment section and in the description box below and all of that. So, we're going to cut this hair. Not cut, but I guess you would call it dusting or um, search and destroy. Well, maybe just dusting. Search and destroy is like, oh. Uh. Okay, so that is my hair, y'all. Can y'all see my, the growth in my hair? Like, for real? Look at that. My hair ain't never been this long. But anyhow, I'm going to show y'all guys how I be dusting my ends when y'all not watching. Because I don't never come on and show y'all. Um, just the little real simple like dusting that I do to keep my ends intact um, as much as I can because I don't get that much split ends because I don't I don't um, mess with my hair too often and I also sleep in my bunnets every every single night okay gotta sleep in your bunnets y'all whoever got a bunnet for me sleep in that bunnet and watch and watch what God can do take care of your hair I'm living proof, right? Am I or am I not? Am I or am I not? Am I or am I not? Okay. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and going to cut, clip, just graze a little bit of the ends. If y'all can see. Can y'all see the ends? Okay. My ears ain't that bad when you look at them as far as, you know, they don't look all that raggedy. But when I look at them, I can see, like if I look at them like that, I can see uh, a few split ends. So, I'm just going to, like, split my hair in a, a few sections. Split it in a few sections. I'm going to part it down the middle. I'm going to part it down the middle. How many of y'all been following me since I ain't have no hair in the back of my head? In my nape area. How many of y'all been following me since I didn't have no hair back here? I just want to know, how long have you been following me? You had to be following me for a long time to know that my hair back there was that sharp and I used to be embarrassed. For real. Look at that. So I'm just going to put my hair in sections. I don't even know if I was on the screen, chat. Okay. Section my hair up. And I'll probably put it in. How many? How many that? I'm going to do six. I'm going to do six. Okay. That's one here. Y'all have to excuse me if y'all hear my husband in the background. He got his cousin over here and he's just having a grand old time watching TV. Okay. So that's a section. I probably won't pin it up because it just looks like it's too much going on when I got it pinned up. I'm gonna just clip it off like this. Yeah, I'm gonna just clip it off like that because pinning it up is look like it's so complicated, child. How y'all doing out there today? I hope you guys doing good. I have been doing great. Besides the fact that I got these teeth in my mouth. Okay, y'all, so I got my hair all clipped off. All clipped off. And I don't have a clip for this one, so we're just going to start with this piece first. And all I'm going to do, y'all, I'm not being real, uh, real, real picky about it. I'm just, I want, picky might not be the word, but honey, I'm not finna whack off my hair. How about that? I ain't finna whack it off. So, I just take it and I just look at it first. And I look and see if I see any split ends and try to kind of get a guesstimate of what it at if I do see them and stuff like that and then I'll just go through and dust what I see off what I see split and something that look too long and straggly I'll cut them but I'm not finna give myself no full haircut just because if I hold it up I can see through it because this just one piece of hair this just one you know piece Oh, I need to turn to the light. This is why I don't ever cut my hair on camera because um, I'm only looking at the ones 
that got split ends mainly, but I'm just even, I'm not even in it, cutting the ones that's next to it that I really can't see in there, but I'm going to cut those anyway, specifically cut the ones with the split ends. This kind of like search and destroy, um, as told, as, uh, you know, you search for the ones that got split ends and you cut them, search and destroy, um, I got that from Shima, shout out to Shima, Shima girl. Cutting all these ones that got split ends. Now, if you don't have hair the length of my hair, you can um hold your hair up to uh, look in the mirror and hold your hair up to the light while you look it in the mirror and cut it off that way. You can see your split ends. Or you can just give yourself a full trim. Or, uh, uh, not a big trim. Just trim your ends. Because some, some of these um split ends are a little bit lower at the you know at the end of the hair string than others some of them might be way split and some of them might be only a little split so that's why i do the search and destroy method because all of them don't necessarily need to be cut off because my hair is already kind of even but i think my hair grow longer on the left side than the right but i'll come through here and i will do this to every little section i only do this probably once every couple of months that way, little cuts like this will only, um, will prevent me from having a big cut later on, you know? Because I know some girls will grow their half a certain length and then they'll cut three inches off and they'll start the growth process again. That'll keep me from doing, you know, so much of a big chop. And there's a lot of little split ends on here, but, um, making sure to keep them at bay, y'all. Then I will go through and comb this through again just to mix get the hairs all mixed up because you know all the hairs ain't the same length so i just do it again and i'll search again but long as i'm holding the hair up to the light my split ends will show up for me to see okay and whatever i see the split in it that's where i cut I cut the little tip off, and y'all know what a split end look like? It looked like one strand of hair that split into two pieces. So, say this was a strand of hair. This is cool, but if it looked like this at the end, that's a split end, okay? That's what a split end is. You know, for a long time, I ain't know what the heck a split end was. I just thought we were supposed to just chop all our hair off and just give ourselves a trim. But you don't have to. You can go through and cut the split ends and just maintain the evenness of your hair. If you want your hair to be in an even blunt cut, then do that. But if you're just trying to cut the split ends and that's it, just do the search and destroy method, okay? It takes a little time when I'm taking my time like this and I'm trying to make sure I get... Uh, the split ends good. It's been a while since I trimmed, so I, I, I see more split ends than I normally would. So I'm just making sure I get um, the most of them. You know, it take a while, but if you if you um you know if you want your hair to be get taken care of, you gotta you know take the time out to do it. So make sure you got time. To cut your hair so you won't just go through and chop it all off real quick say oh i need a trim Whoop. Mm -mm. nope i'm making sure i look specifically for the split ends all up in there and i'm glad my hair got to this length so that i that way i can actually see the split ends and go ahead and get rid of them and that is how i cut my split ends this don't need to be a long video for y'all because It don't need to be. Y'all, I can't wait to get my teeth done. Oh, Lord, I'm so embarrassed. No, I'm not. I'm not. Why did I say that? I'm lying. I just want them done. Anyway, so I think that's enough for that little section, y'all. And I'm just going to take my section after I got all the split ends. If you want to, you know, just a little blunt little cut at the end, just take it and go all the way to the end like that. And just cut it even if you want to. Not even, but if you want to chop it off, just... You know, clean it up a little bit. And that's it. Hopefully, hopefully, y'all can see all of that. But, alrighty. So, that's it for that section. And I go around and do every section that same way. And then I be done got me a little haircut, y'all. And I just be double checking it to make sure 
you know, I ain't, I ain't left no split ends or no stragglers or none, none of that, y'all. So, uh, that's how I cut my split ends, okay? Now, you can't get them all, but you want to try to get as many as you can. But don't leave your hair hanging saying, oh, I can't get them all. Because if you don't cut a split end, it's going to keep on splitting, child. Okay, y'all, so I'm done with each of my sections. Done, done, done. I done searched and I done destroyed the ends that I could see and the ends that I couldn't, you know, tell if they were split like the ones in the back. I just kind of held them out like this and just kind of gave it a, a, a snip. You know, I looked and saw, you know, as close as it could get to my eyes because it's not like, because I'm kind of like this with this one. It ain't right in my face, so. Um, did that little snip with that and this girl and that's it y'all I'm going to comb it all down and show y'all what it looks like um, now you probably can't tell the difference no way because it's pretty much the same look oh shoot pretty much the same look so come back up and I can feel all the hair falling on me but I did cut Okay. Every time I think I'm back far enough, then I don't be. Am I? Okay, that's good enough, y'all. So that is the way I cut my split ends. Okay. And that is it, y'all. So now, I am done. So you guys have seen how I do my hair, y'all. That's just the way I do mine, okay? I ain't trying to tell y'all what to do. I'm just coming to show you guys what I do, okay? And I didn't always do this until it got to a certain length that I could actually see my ends. And then I would um, do the search and destroy method. Before, I was not able to do the search and destroy method. So I would... Well, I still can if I be like in the bathroom. I can't make a video doing it, okay? If I be in the bathroom and hold my um hat up to the you know, to the white wall or the light and all that stuff, it'll show me like the split ends that's in my hair. And I don't see I don't see no split ends. Oh, I just saw one but I don't know where it went. There you go. See? And every now and again, you don't have to wait a long time to do the search and destroy method either. Every time you see a split end in your hair, you don't be like, oh, I got split ends. I'm going to need to cut it. You can pick up the scissors right then and cut that, that one string that you see. You know, that one split end that you do see. So, that's what I be doing. I always keep my scissors, especially when I have my hair down like this, I always keep my scissors somewhere that I could, um, you know, that they in reach. That they are in reach. I need to comb through it a little bit so I can get all the, you know, everything that I just cut, you know, make it fall out, fall off of the hair. And that's all I'm doing there. And that is it, y'all, for my, my cutting, y'all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And... Y'all let me know, how do you cut your ends? How do you cut your ends? Or do you get them cut at a salon? Or do you cut them yourself? Or do your friend cut them? Or do your mama cut them? Or whoever. Who, who cut your ends? Let me know, y'all. Comment down below and leave me some, some feedback, y'all. All right, y'all. Thank y'all guys so, so, so much for watching. That's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye. Oh, my lips still hurt. <laughs>